Good morning, I am once again back at Performance Remap with Chris in Gloucester. Today, we're gonna to put the Fiesta on the dyno and find out exactly how much power it's got. We're looking for 82 horsepower. So we've got 85,000 miles on the clock. I'm not expecting any major losses there, but the interesting thing in today's video is how much power can we gain when we fit my k and air filter that I got off Facebook Marketplace for 45 quid yesterday evening. So what do you reckon? How much horsepower is this MeT air filter going to get us? Chris, what do you reckon? I think it'd be a small gain. A small we'll gain? A small gain, quite a small gain, but We'll have a look, we'll pop the hood in a minute. Yeah. And we'll have a look see what the standard air box and stuff looks like. See if it'll actually fit for starters. Hopefully it will. I reckon we can make it fit. If um, we run it with no air box. Back in the day, I would have bought one of these thinking that the gain would be about 150 horsepower. Yeah, they used to have to have big gains yeah, on them. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's more gains in noise and fuel consumption, I think, isn't it? The noise, I think. Yeah, yeah they used to make it feel like it was <laughs> Exactly, exactly. So most of the gains will probably be psychological, uh, but a little bit of fun. Let's see if this air filter actually does anything. Oh, um, right, yeah, so... Should be relatively easy. Does that, yeah. As long as that all comes apart, so I, I reckon we can pretty much take it apart there and just sit it in there. It doesn't need to stay on permanently. No. If we can get the air, I mean, the air box should come out of the way. It should, should, should just put it Pretty easy, shouldn't it? Yeah, so it's set on with these rubber pads. Yeah. That's the final... Yeah, we work that in. Yeah. We work that in. It's going to fit. Hopefully. So first run done, uh, there's a warm up run and then a couple of extras. Yeah, done a couple of runs. Talk us through the graph. Okay, so it should, we've looked it up on the internet because I didn't know the figures for this. It should be at 82 horsepower and 113 newton meters of torque. Yeah. And it is basically 75 horsepower and 113 newton meters of torque. Okay, so. It's measuring a little bit down on what full claim. Yeah. Um, but honestly, I've never had one of these on the yeah, dyno yeah. to yeah. to test to see what they do do. Brilliant. So fairly healthy then it seems. It looks good. It feels nice. Runs nice. Nothing untoward. So no. we've got 74 engine and then 65 at the. We've got 75 horsepower basically at the engine and 65 at the wheel. So a very small transmission loss. It's a very small transmission. It's very small. It's much less than the cars we've had in here. Much much less. Probably yeah. than the big Volvos. Yeah, but there's not a lot to it, is there? No, there's not. And that's why we love it. I mean, yeah. you, you were sat in there going, "Oh, this is great." This is a simple, simple old car, isn't it? Yeah, like it. Yeah. So, shall we fit the K and M? We fit it and see what happens. Better put it. We'll try and fit it. <laughs> Let's try and fit it. There's at least a hundred horsepower here. I don't think there's quite that much. <laughs> <laughs> This is the point where people in the YouTube comments will be like, oh, back in my day, my Fiesta used to fit one there in <laughs> three minutes flat. <laughs> Do 
just put this on uh, Facebook a minute ago, just looking at some of your comments as to how much you guys think this is going to gain. We've got Andrew Kidman says, I reckon it will be a good old 69 horsepower. Wasn't that the teenage dream? 69 in a Fiesta? It's a bit rude. Um, Andrew, another Andrew says, are you going full max power spec with a Fiesta? No, no, it's staying standard. Um, Mark says, definitely a minus figure. Um, <laughs> Daniel reckons 70 standard, 72 with the K&N. We got a 67 standard or 64 with the air filter, so minus three. And then Stephen says 75 standard plus three for the K and N. So nobody oh. has much faith in the K and N, do they? He's got the 75 standard bit, right? Yeah, it? that's correct. Yeah, so 75 at the engine and 65 at the wheel. So you are correct there. We we'll see if he gets his three. That should do for now. Cool. Right. You're gonna fire the beast up. We're gonna fire her up. Let's see how she sounds. Watch your motor start now. Yeah. <laughs> it's got a roar. <laughs> that does sound better. It does it's sound better. It's got a noise. <laughs> induction kit on the car um, it's not one specifically designed for this car it's a universal one but we got it on there um, so standard we had uh, roughly 75 horsepower and then we've basically gained about two horsepower and a round about three new meters of torqueish so two horses yep and three newtons yep but across the, across the this is your Talk line, yeah, it's always a good one to look at, yeah. So, red being standard, orange being with the induction kit, yeah. Every gap between those two lines is additional volume of power, brilliant. So, whilst it's small, it has got more power everywhere, excellent. And the, the noise, the noise is absolutely transformed it. I think it's um, 15 pounds worth of performance, yeah and 30 quid's worth of noise. I go 50 quid on the noise. 50 quid on the yeah, noise, like there you go. Yeah. So, the verdict on the 45 pound K&N, a great buy. Yes, worth cool. it for the noise alone, yeah, it and it's made a tiny little bit of power. I'm gonna leave it on for the rest of the afternoon, and it yeah. may stay on long term. I think it should, <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Chris just asked off camera if he could buy the car. I'll buy the car, I like it. It's a nice simple car, it's good. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Brilliant, okay, that was great. We did some science, we had some fun. Yeah. And um, wonderful. Yes. Next thing, like we discussed on the end of the last video, we are gonna sort a date. We're gonna out. arrange a date, we're gonna do it. If you wanna come and have your car dynoed on a Sunday whilst people are in the car park looking at cars, the Jeff Buys Cars and Performance Remap Sunday session is going to be open. We'll probably have, how many spots do we have? 10 spots for a car, 10 spots for cars. I'll probably get 15 in. 15 spots. Yeah, about 15 spots. 15 spots to put your car on the dyno. Be about 50, 60 quid. Details yeah. are going to be at the end of this video. Yes. Because we're going to work it out now. Yes. Thanks for watching. Thank you. <laughs> oh yeah. Proper blast from the past. That is good, yeah.
and that's it all done an extra two horsepower um it feels like a lot more though and it sounds like a lot more but a great day a lot of fun with chris it's always fun going down to performance remap and i think chris quite enjoyed doing the fiesta today and, and messing around with the air filter so september the 10th is the date for your diary i appreciate that's quite a long way away but that is the Jeff Buys Cars Dino Day at Performance Remap. It's going to be, I think, £50 a car for front-wheel drive, 65 for four-wheel drive because there's more involved. And we've got between 15 and 20 spaces, depending on what the mix is. If we get lots of four-wheel drives, then there'll have to be slightly less spaces because they take longer. But I will put all the details to book on in the description of this video and I'll post it on my Facebook and I'll put it on my newsletter as well. So I hope to see you there September the 10th. I'll be dynoing something. I'm not sure what, but we at least now have a date. That's a Sunday. Um, the car park there will be quiet and we can see who's got the most and least power and see whose car breaks and generally have a bit of a laugh. I'm going to do some awards. We'll have some prizes, most power, least power, best car, I'll make some up. But right now, I need to show you my new air filter by accelerating onto this dual carriageway. You ready? <laughs> it does sound good. It feels a little flat, actually. As I'm accelerating, it does feel like it's got a little bit of a flat spot. So let me know in the comments what you think that could be, what I should do next. Maybe we should go dyno it on premium fuel. I've got a spot with the dyno next week. I was gonna take the Volvo down. What do you wanna see? Do you want me to dyno my Volvo 850 two litre auto or shall I take the Fiesta back and use better quality fuel? I think I've already decided. Let's do that. Let's take it down next week and run it on premium and see how much more power we can get. What else can we do for quick and easy power gains? Post them up in the comments if there's any products I could buy for quick and easy. Decat, let's remove the catalytic converter. Decat, better fuel, how much power can we get out? This is getting silly. We need a body kit. Right, before it all gets carried away, thank you very much for watching my video. to the video but thank you very much for watching see you for the next one jeff buys cars youtube's most boring car and conversation and current affairs channel